uh, John Burke with the uh, City of Westminster, Colorado. I'm the uh, city's floodplain administrator. I also run their stormwater management program for the city. And uh, we're out here today at the, uh, the Shaw Heights drainage project that uh, for the city of Westminster has been an issue for a number of years as well as Adams County. We've had I think it's about a 470 acre upstream basin uh, that drains right to this spot. The downstream infrastructure was in place. We could just tie into that and it was meant to come here. It just wasn't getting here. This was not here. This was uh, a little small channel and the flood waters came down and overtopped the inlet. It got clogged and it literally um, flooded this whole area. It flooded this neighbor here, started to come close to the school. So we talked to Urban Drainage Flood Control District and, and through the process we ultimately selected SEH as our lead design consultant to really handle this uh, very unique situation as far as a drainage in a very, you know, fully developed area um, that just had absolutely zero storm sewer system. We lowered this area right near Wagner so that it became an emergency spillway and discharged down Wagner so that we had a emergency waters flowing towards the regional park. Uh, part of the issue is that uh, whenever those uh, those flash storm events hit Colorado metro area, um, these poor people here, a lot of basements get flooded. Once this inlet was designed, we had to worry about the 100 year, what's going to happen in a larger event, and how that would overtop and make sure it got to the uh, Allen Ditch. And that's really where Danny stepped in and just did a great job for us and uh, helped us kind of evaluate those alternatives quickly. And there was a little bit of uh, analysis paralysis almost where we keep on analyzing what's the best solution and then finally it was you know we just got to build this and get going with it. Having that momentum from analyzing to construction and keeping that coordination going probably was the toughest part. And then look at the budget back and forth and then got us the project that we felt we can not only pay for it but then build on time under budget. So that's where SCH came in and, and again I can't even tell you the number of iterations that they did. Uh, to really work through a number crunching. Uh, we always talk about SCH being multidisciplinary. This is truly that kind of project. This is the structure department coming back and helping the, you know, the water resource department. We have a level of comfort with the services that SCH was able to provide on the, on the ground and uh, they did an exceptional job. The two outsides are shallower so they keep the cost down and then they pour into the center uh, which is deeper uh, to get the water out into the pipe we talked to SCH about um, working on the actual uh, resident engineering side of the project. And one of our expectations is, is our resident engineer is going to know all the specifications, contract documents, and be able to make sure that the contractor fulfills their obligations, protect the city's interest, and again, keep costs under control. Uh, SCH's on-site management did exactly that. My favorite part is getting it done. <laughs> uh, they were able to, to take a look at the specs anytime there was a, a you know a speed memo or a change order request, request for information, all those things that came up. SCH was very good about having their guys just take a look at it right away, respond back, uh, notify the appropriate uh, urban drainage or this, the county or the city, and then get that decision to move forward very quickly. One of the, the tough parts about being an engineer, sometimes we go through multiple designs and we don't ever get to see it done. And it's nice to actually see something you design. 